video of Morisiki MT1500 running a MX, MSX501 control with graphics. This machine serial number MT151EF0083. Uh, All right, you have at it. This has a full B axis, lower turret. Okay, here's a picture of the machine before we run it. The 12 station turret it has two live tools for front and back working. We have extra live tools for Z axis and uh, longitudinal uh, X axis and Y axis, longitudinal and radial. Sub spindle and the B axis upper turret, upper milling spindle. And how many tools does it have in the carrier? Do you know? Uh, that are actually in the magazine. Well, how many in the magazine total? Uh, maximum capacity is 60. 60 in the ATC. Show you the inside of the box for the this tool is changer. Approximately 40, 46 or 48. It's approximately 48 tool holders. Most of them are milling, some of them are turning holders. Some turning, most milling tool holders. The machine does have a transformer running on 220. Filtration system, Micron Technologies. This is ours. Oh, that's not, not, it's not coming with the machine? No, uh, we put it on. Okay. These aren't cheap. <laughs> okay. Other and a chip conveyor. Okay. Okay, so the bar fee must be in the automatic mode in order to run the tool changer for the uh, for the B axis. If you get an alarm during the tool change sequence, you need more receipt to reset it. If there's an alarm during the tool change sequence, Morisiki has to reset it. You can try on your own. Can we bypass the door interlock or no? You can, it'll move really, really slow. Okay, I just want to, but I can't videotape it when it's closed, so. It's okay, you just do what you and I'll get around you.
Uh, we're running this in single block motion right now only because the door is open. We're cycling everything and then I'm going to run the machine and the cycle with the door closed. Is that the only tool you're running in the milling spindle right now? Is that cut off? On this one, yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to want to see that at least run manually. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two tool coolant is running. We're going to shut that down. It's okay. Yeah, they're coming on and going off at every pro at each step. Yeah, I forgot, to, <laughs> I forgot to take out the MH on the. <laughs> Thanks for the bath. Part of the initiation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why I stand off to the side. It's not my first rodeo. Live tools on this program too? No. Okay. That's why all the live tools hold to turn the cabinet. Okay. Well, we can do that. Can we manually turn on the live tools? Uh, the two with the front and back? Or we can turn them on manually. But yeah, I just want to listen to them. So. Have to install a tool block. That's fine. I don't need to just listen to what they get the gears inside. So if you just manually go through that, that's fine. It's a little noisy at 6,000 RPM. That's okay. I got it. I'd rather hear the noise and, hear, and, and know that there's no issues. Main spindle hole, and this is how big on the main? Inch and three quarter through the, uh, the through draw the, tube. Through the draw tube. Yeah. And the sub? Uh, Same? No, smaller. Inch and a half? Uh, no, I'm, maybe inch. Okay. Could be inch and a quarter. Yeah. Looks like it's about an inch and a quarter. So it's so just a really long turning part? Yeah, what type of tolerance are you holding on this part? 
On that, it was the bushing. I was holding plus minus two tenths. Two tenths? Okay, plus minus two once, tenths. Once the machine warms up, you can hold tolerances. Okay. Uh, just like any big machine, it's very cool. What's the RPM right now? Uh, let's see. We're on head one. Spindle. We're at 2,000 RPM. 2,000, okay. Yeah. Yep. Two thousand RPM, extremely quiet on the on the spindle. Ball shoes are tight, very quiet. Turn indexing is excellent. Holding two tenths tolerance on their previous part. I'm gonna bring the parts catcher down. Okay.